Salute to the MAPW team. I'm back with another video. To the fellas out there, I came across this video, right? And this lady right here, she is supposed to be a travel blogger slash content creator. She's basically in her title of her video. She wants to try to tell the audience if Colombia is safe or not. So she wants to give the audience the honest truth about Colombia and if it's safe or not. I want you to hear this video and I want you to tell me if she can tell you about the dangers of Colombia or if she just wants to rattle off at the mouth and talk on YouTube with barely showing any of her, well, with showing a good portion of her body. Let's put it that way. Let's get right into the damn video. I'm Raquel. I'm a content creator and also a travel content creator living in Colombia. So I just ate. So I'm just like, anyways, I am going to let y'all know a couple things about Colombia that I love and why I feel like it's very cool, fun, and safe. Number one, I love that I can find trees anywhere, everywhere. For 30 grams, it's literally like, you can get 60 grams for like $70 of exotic. Chef kiss for me. Second one is that when you are in a taxi or Uber or a DD or on a motorcycle, make sure you don't have your phone out like you're on the phone, you're texting while the windows are down because the people that's on the bikes will come and snatch your phone. Now you don't got a phone. So if I was you, I would be very careful about driving in the car with the windows down. Okay, a third thing, as you can see, I have so many tattoos. The tattoos, they did this, which was beautiful. And they did this, carpe diem. This is ugly. I'm actually getting this covered up. I'm going to keep reiterating this. What does that have to do with Colombia being safe or not? How are you giving knowledge to your audience about if Colombia is safe or not? And if they should travel there or not? I want to remind my audience, in her title, it says, Is Colombia safe? Question mark, the honest truth. I want my audience to tell me if they're learning anything about if Colombia is safe or not. And even if Colombia is safe or not, does she need to come on YouTube dressed like this? And then some of these women out here, they don't understand why no men have any respect for them at all. These are the type of women that want men to treat them like queens. These are the type of women that come onto YouTube and tell men about demands that they want from men. Let's keep going with the damn video. And this says carpe diem, you know, seize the day. And those are cheap as fuck. So tattoos cheap, weed cheap. Um, the food is cheap as fuck. And it's not the best food. You're going to have to try different places and then you'll find a good food. You're not just going to walk up and just, Ooh, let me try this and it's amazing. No. Um, they have really, really, like, good chicken. Over there in the Communa 13, they chicken is good. But all the chicken, not the, good, the best. So, what were we at? Three things. I just smoked, so... Um, the liquor is cheap, but the Hennessy is so expensive. So if you like Hennessy, no, baby, drink tequila. Um, there's an awesome place where you can smoke your herb or have a beer or have a drink. It's a shop. I'm a, if, if you want to know, tell me, um, follow me and I'll tell you. Um, and you can go there and you can smoke. Only thing they don't sell. What does that have to do with if Colombia is safe or not? 
can I go to those bars in Colombia without worrying about somebody dropping something in my drink? That's something that I would want to know. To my other content creators out there that really can bring some real life vision and views to their audience. Is it necessary? Real talk. I just want to ask my audience. Is it necessary to come onto YouTube or any other social media platform and blog like this? And when women do come on blogging like this, half naked, are they trying to promote or sell something? What do you think? Or are they look or are they looking for attention? Because you're going to get attention, but for the most part, you're going to get attention in the wrong way. And then you're going to talk about how you're being over-sexualized. Now, to the men out there, you see what this lady looks like right here. You see how tatted up she is. Is this attractive? Is it attractive? Like, I'm not knocking women with tattoos. I have a couple of tattoos myself. But when women get online like this, and they have tattoos all over their titties, all over their hands, their neck, their legs. Is that appealing to you? Let me know in the comment section. Like I said, I have tattoos myself, but I think that sometimes some people just overdo it. And me personally, I don't think women need to overdo it with tattoos. And, and if you are going to make it like you're going to have a bunch of tattoos, at least have a sleeve or... Don't have tattoos all over just looking sloppy everywhere. It looks tacky. It just does. I don't know what my audience think, but in my opinion, it looks tacky when tattoos are everywhere and they're not neat. It just looks sloppy to me. I'm sorry. No, but you can definitely, definitely, definitely. Hey, y'all. I'm Raquel. I'm a cunt. That's the end of the video. She just pretty much repeats what she already says. I don't know what happened with her video, but it just pretty much repeated what she stated in the beginning. Now, she talked in, like I said, in the thumbnail title, it says, is Columbia safe? The honest truth. What did my audience learn about Columbia being safe? All I heard her talk about is smoking weed, getting drunk, or getting liquor, getting Hennessy. The only thing she talked about you shouldn't do is have your phone out the window because somebody could snatch your phone. That can happen pretty much anywhere, especially in foreign countries. But other than other than that, did she really give you any details on what to watch out for when you visit Colombia? Because she says she lives there right now. So with her living there, I would if, like if I was somebody that wanted to move to Colombia. And she put up a um, a YouTube, um, you know, a YouTube video about is Columbia safe? And I went to this video. I honestly wouldn't have learned anything. So my whole point is, why get on YouTube and talk about nothing? What are you really trying? Why do some women really come on YouTube like this and they talk about nothing? And it's sad because in my eyes, women sometimes, not all of them, but they do anything for views and clicks. You don't have to get half naked to get views and clicks. You just don't. There's some women out there that are dressed all the way up on YouTube and they're murdering the game right now. They get a bunch of views and clicks and they can keep their dignity. They can be very conservative. But we have women out there making themselves look bad by coming online half naked looking like garbage. And honestly, she looks like garbage, but... Some men might find this appealing. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.